A great morning, you guys. Great morning. Today is going to be a great day in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank God for who he is and what he's doing in our lives, man. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Today, I want to talk about um, we all need God. We all need help with something. We all need help with something. So we're going to go to the throne of grace with confidence right now. So, Father God, we come to your throne of grace with confidence. Thank you just for your grace, your mercy, God, your salvation, God. Thank you just for being an awesome God. You are so worthy of all of our praise, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for allowing us, Father God, and reminding us that we need help even though we, if we have the skills and the training for the job or whatever, we still need your help. We need your guidance. We need your wisdom, God. So we thank you right now for that, God. Allow us to be hum, humble at moments like this, Father God. We think we got everything under control. Allow us, Father God, to humbly humble ourselves and ask you for help, God, because we need your guidance and wisdom at all times, God. Continue, Lord Jesus, to work in us, through us, for us, and around us, God. We thank you, God, for your love right now, God. Thank you just for being a loving God. Thank you for loving us unconditionally, God. Thank you for being there when nobody else was there, Father God. You are always there to listen to us, God. Sometimes we just have to come talk to you, God. So allow us, Father God, to take time on our busy schedules and spend time with you, God, to get to know you even more, God. We thank you for your Holy Spirit right now. Increase, increase, increase like for, like never before, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for increase, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your Holy Spirit, God. Without you, Lord Jesus, we can't make it, God. We can't make it, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the word today, God, from Psalms 121, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for just being able to recognize you and recognize that we need help, God. We all need help, God. So we can't judge anybody else, God. Allow us, Father God, to extend grace and help to others, Father God. If we do know things, Father God, that others need help with, God, allow us, Father God, to extend that help and to just help without even worrying about it, without even hesitating to help others, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, right now for your word, God. You are so loving. You are so kind, God. You're the great I am. You're the Jehovah Jireh. You're the beginning and the end, God. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for a brand new day, God. Thank you for a great night's sleep. A great night's sleep last night, God. Thank you for your protection, God. We thank you for healing right now, God. Continue, Lord Jesus, to protect us, God. And we know COVID is still out there, God. But we know, Father God, with your protection, God. It shall pass, God. So we thank you right now, God. Right now for this moment. This is our prayer to you in Son. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. So, yeah, we all need God. We all need help with something. Is what I want to talk about today. But we also want to talk about what they talk about in daily bread, which is the power of God. It says, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Psalms 121 and 2. Uh... I'm looking at the wrong side, y'all. 121 and 2. So, we all need help. It's basically what they were talking about today. It was talking about this this doctor um, who was going to do the C-section on this, this um, lady. Uh, she asked God for her wisdom. And just think about it. This lady probably been in training. She probably been um, doing C-sections for a while now. But she still recognized, you know, and know that she needed God's help and wisdom. It says Rebecca and Russell, you know, that was trying to have a baby. They want to have a baby, but they could not. The doctor told them uh, that they could not have a uh, child. But 10 years later, Rebecca was conceived, you guys. She was conceived. And, you know, before she went to the hospital, or when she started having contractions and stuff, they carried to the hospital. She started to fear, you know, have fear. But the doctor prayed for her. And that's something the doctor that, uh, you know, did her C-section. They told her she had to have an emergency C-section. So the doctor prayed for her before she went in. And next, what, I think it said five minutes or something like that. I want to say 10 minutes. Make sure I have the right 10 years later. If you have the baby. I think it was 10 minutes later or something like that. But they was just, I, I just relate this story to Sarah in the Bible. Which wait, who waited 90 years, man, to be conceived. And she lost faith in everything. But God still told, you know, gave her a baby, man. So even though we have skills and training, we still need God's wisdom, strength, and help to guide 
our hands and to God her hands, the doctor. It says, uh, it's encouraging to hear about how highly skilled people or of anyone who recognize they need him. Because honestly, we all do. We all need God, man. I, You know, so many people, some, sometimes you see people like, they've been doing something so long. And, um, and you see the pastor or something like that. They, you know, walk around like they perfect and stuff like that. And then when somebody called them out when they do wrong. But not just pastors. <laughs> not just pastors. It's, you know, Christians, some Christians, some church people. They're walking like they perfect and stuff. And like they don't need help anymore. Need God's hand. Um, Will them anything anymore. Just because they have been delivered, delivered or something like that. Man, it is a struggle every day. Even when you be delivered, have been delivered. Because the devil was fix up something so nice for you that you were you remind you like hey you're not perfect as you thought you was you feel me so we all need help we know all have to seek god daily man it says um because we all do okay he's god we're not um he alone is able to do imme do immeasurably um more than all we can ask or imagine let's have a humble heart to learn from him to trust him in prayer because he can do more than we ever could God can do more than we ever could, man. Okay, this is uh, some something that just happened to me a while ago. Uh, you know, I thought I was good at editing and stuff like that. I sent the edit in and, and I had to do all over. I never had to do a whole, you know, edit all over. But what happened was God was humbling me. He was humbling me like, and I know I needed God with the help with, with this. So I was asking him throughout my editing process, throughout the editing stage. I'm like, God, I need your help, man. Um, tell me what to put here. Give me some wisdom. What needs to go here? What needs to go there? And man, let me tell you, God, help me through this. It was a struggle. Because I, I realized, like, man, we all need God's help. No matter how long we've been doing a job or skilled to do it, uh, God is still amazing. And he allows us to know. And he reminds us to know that we still need his help no matter what. So I thank God for that humbling experience. So yeah, um, so humble heart. We have to go to God, hum humble heart, um, to learn from Him and to trust Him in prayer because He can do more than we can ever imagine. Also, how have you gained gained any understanding of your own need for God and, and His power? How have you got um, guys gained understanding? And how is it? How is this dependence seen in your daily life? How do you? Show people that you need God. You feel me? Or do you walk around thinking you know everything? Because, man, my pa my pastor's been talking about this, man. How we walk around and we think we know everything. And is nobody want to see, you know, <laughs> Christians walk around. Oh, I'm filled with the Holy Spirit and all this stuff here. Let me tell you something. Your actions speak louder than your words. People know fakeness. You feel me? They know fake people. So don't walk around being fake, man, and, and think you're perfect because none of, none of us are not. And people need the transparency nowadays. They need more transparency than ever before. They need to see that they can relate to you, to your problems. And we have to allow people to know, let people know that we've been through some the things most of the time, you know, we've been through the things that they can relate to. So that will pull them in. So if you don't know how to draw in those people, man, how can we save people? We can't always walk around and always... You know, being around church people, you can't always just be around people that don't allow you to grow and stuff like that. So we have to be mindful of that. We tell them, hey, <laughs> they hey y'all. Have to be mindful of that. Your hand ain't in there. There we go. I tell them, hey. But yeah, so be mindful of that, man. Be transparent. Be open with your your life, cause your life is a testimony all alone. It says, uh, so if you're dealing with that, I want you guys to say this prayer right now. It says, I need you and your wisdom and power, God, for decisions, skill, work, relationships, all of my life. All of, all of my life. Not just some of our life, all of our life. So we thank God for the word today. And remember, guys, humble yourself. No matter what you're doing. I remember on set last weekend, I was directing cars and stuff like that. And if I would have stepped back and humbly humbled myself i would have missed an opportunity and missed a connection that i had got saturday so 
I always relate back to that and relate back to what I can relate to and what I remember. But God is always on time, man. Mm. He's always on time. We all need him. So we all have to be reminded that we have to extend grace to others because even though you're out of a situation, you have to go back and help somebody. You have to go back and help somebody. Don't just get delivered, get saved, uh, and go on about your life and forget about the people that you need to help. Because that's not how we should operate as a kingdom. All right? God bless you all, man. I love you all. God loves you more. Remember to hum humble yourself all the time. All the time. Even though if you was, you're skilled, highly skilled at a job or something, ask God for wisdom, man. Because I'm telling you, it's, it's always something that you can learn. God bless you all. I love you all. I love you more. I'm out. You guys have a fantastic day in the mighty name of Jesus. If you need me, I got you.